and welcome to Lady Dynamite Creates. This is Tiffany and today I'm going to be showing you a Marie Laveau doll that I did for a collaboration for American Horror Story with some other artists on Instagram. I've linked all of their Instagram's account below and I encourage you to check them out. I started with looking through some of my base dolls and I came up with Claudia and these two different Claudine dolls. I really preferred the body shape on the Big Sister doll but I liked the closed mouth on the Claudine better. I go ahead and get her prep with her hair all cut and shaved down. Then I use a hair dryer to pop her head off. To remove all the hair, I use a flathead screwdriver and some needle nose pliers. This was actually probably one of the best dolls as far as glued in head I'd ever worked with. She just had very little glue and it all came out so easily. And since my character does not have wolf ears, I take the X-Acto blade and I slice those off. I put these in a bag for later use for any time I might need spare parts. And I go ahead and use 100% acetone and remove the face paint. So the particular Marie Laveau I wanted to do was from the scene where she is summoning the zombies. And I thought I wouldn't be able to do a great job with white eyes so I wanted to do some inset eyes. And so first thing I do is I go and sketch out my eye shape that I want to use and then I go in and cut a little bit at a time with my X-Acto blade. Now making my eye shape turned out to be totally useless because the first thing I do here cutting out my eye shape is I mess it up. <laughs> and as you can probably tell I am absolutely terrible at this. I have done very few inset eyes but the idea behind it is to go in and cut tiny slivers just a little bit at a time until you get the shape you want and to cut at an angle towards the inside of the eye so that you're shaving away the thickness of the vinyl. Think along the lines of how thin your eyelids are. I have to say, people who do inset eyes, they can just do them so well, it just blow me away. These are hard work and you think inset eyes are probably easy because you don't have to draw the eyes, but no, they are super hard. I've only done a couple of the dolls, but I have to say I much prefer to draw my eyes on. I do cut away the back of the head just to have easier access. Now, I don't know if it was maybe just this particular doll had softer vinyl, but I have done inside eyes before, but this one really gave me a hard time. I don't know what it was. I even brought in one of my diamond Dremel bits just to help thin out the vinyl some and get it a little bit smoother. Now to make some eyes. I've got these eye molds that I got off of AliExpress. I do believe they're eight and 10 millimeters. I was trying a couple of different styles. I'm using UV resin and UV resin dyes. Very important that you're using things that are compatible with your resin because it can affect the curing. I just take a guess at how much resin I'm going to need to make a couple of set of eyes. I add in my UV dye to get to the opacity that I'm happy with and then I mix it up thoroughly. I go ahead and add it into my eye molds and then I take a toothpick and I run it along the inside of there. Careful not to scratch my molds but this will help release any air bubbles. 
Then I pop them under my UV light until they are firm and once those have set I pop them out of those molds and then put them back into the UV light to get rid of any tackiness on the surface. For the style of eyes, I decided to paint the very edge of the iris just with this really dark brown. Then I filled my centers with some tacky glue and spread it out and put in some flocking powder to give it an opaque kind of floating feel onto the eye. Then I use my UV resin and dome up the top and pop it back under the UV lamp. Then it's on to the face up. I used Pan Pastels for the shading and my pencils I used were Derwent Ink Tints and Faber Castell. I started out doing some shading and doing some defining of the shadows around the eye socket and the nose. Once I'm happy, I go in with some additional passes and deepen them. I take one of my bigger fluffy makeup brushes and I start shading the side of her face and underneath her chin. I then go in and blush the tops of her cheeks and her forehead. Next I do some highlighting and I know it looks extreme. <laughs> Bear with me when you spray it with MSC, it tones it way, way down and it's not as crazy wide as that. I take another pass at these sides of her face and go in with a warmer tone to really bring out those colors in her. Now I start adding in some eyeliner. So I take my black ink tense pencil and start lining the inside edge of the eye hole or eye socket thing <laughs> and start detailing the eyeliner. This actually helps me hide some imperfections in my eye shapes because I was never able to cut those things perfectly symmetrical. Then I go ahead and block in the collar for the lips with some Pan Pastels. I keep the lips darker on the top and a little bit deeper in color on the sides as well and use a pencil to add some detail lines. Once I'm ready to add in the eyebrows, I find a great tip is to add dots for each point. So you have your starting point, your middle high point, and then your end point, and then you just connect the dots. Mm -hmm. 
Then just clean up any of your stray pastel with a eraser. Now I'm going in and adding some eyelid highlights and a few other highlights on the face that are going to be a little bit brighter and I blend those out. And I take another pass at the lips with some more details. I go ahead and add in some hair details to the eyebrows and add in the eyelashes, remembering to use quick, sharp flicks. Now that she's had her final layer of sealant, we're going to add in some real eyelashes for her. I take some tacky glue and apply it to the eyelid. Then I lay the eyelash in at the position that I wish. I put my eyelashes in a little further because I don't like them to be as long, but I still like to keep the natural taper of the lash. Once my glue is set, I bend my inside excess lashes up and secure it with more glue. Now to secure my eyes in, I apply a light layer of super glue around the inside area of the eye and I put my eye in the position I want and hold it in place until that super glue is set. Then I take a little bit of epoxy sculpt and put it in around the eyes to hold them for a permanent bond. Last thing you need to do is glue the head cap back on. So just take a little bit of super glue and super glue those together. Then I layer on a thin bead of liquid fusion on top of that just for extra support. To take care of those ear holes, I take and use a little bit of liquid fusion in a thin piece of fabric and I cover those up. Now since you won't see her hair, I don't bother to give her any. I do hot glue a little bit of yarn to the top of her hair because she will be wearing a tignon and this will keep it a little bit fuller. To make the tignon, I'm just taking a long rectangle of fabric and just looked up tutorials on how to tie this thing and it starts in the back, crosses in the front, crosses again in the back, and then tucks in on the front and ties again. Tighten down any areas that I thought might become loose with some glue and some pins and I use a little bit of canned air to freeze that in place. For her dress, she's wearing the white booty priestess dress, but I will not be showing this process because I felt like it showed a little bit too much of the pattern, but it is one of Gigi Requiem's patterns and you can get that. I'll leave the link in the description box below. It's really easy to follow. And then she's all done. Stay tuned to the end for some final photos and thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please like and uh, subscribe to my channel. Any comments you make, I'll try to reply to.